Hey, thanks for joining us for this unboxing video. We finally found a truly wireless inverter, and so we wanted to share the unboxing with you. Um, if you've looked for a similar product, you probably found it really hard to find. Maybe you, unless you know something we don't know. We searched high and low, and I just happened to be in a truck stop recently, and I found this inverter that is actually run by an, a, an app on a smartphone. Both Google and Apple apps are available. Um, so this is the 2000 watt model. It's made by PowerDrive. You can buy these online. So we're going to try to find a link for you on this with this for this exact model, um, and we'll put it in the description below. And the wireless feature is available on their 1000 watt and larger models. Uh, this is a modified sine wave. It is not pure sine wave, and the cost was around 179 dollars with rebate, something like that. Um, so let's do the unboxing and take a closer look at it. Then we'll set it up and do a test with the wireless app. We'll show you how it works. All right, so the reason we chose 2000 watts is it's a nice happy medium. They do have a larger model. This has four outlets on the front and it has two USB ports that are two amp. So you can actually charge like your iPads, iPhones, stuff like that. Um, so they include an owner's manual pretty straightforward. Talks a lot about the size of your cables for distance, so they have a pretty good guide there. Um, this does have a couple of other features. I'll try to point those out as we take this uh, open. So, owner's manual. Put this to the side. Uh, so this is the inverter itself. And I'd say it's about 12 inches by maybe eight, 10, eight inches or so. Might be a little longer than that. They include two, uh, I believe these are four aug, yes, these are four aug cables. They are three feet long. Those are included. Uh, so they include this cable so that you can remote locate this um, control panel and it's it's wired. So if you take these thumb screws off, you'll actually um, be able to plug this in and put this somewhere else. I don't know why you'd wanna do that because the app is capable of doing that anyway. So they include it, you can do it. Um, we'd prefer to use the app, we'll show you how to use that. All right, and the connection on this is pretty straightforward. Red cable goes on the red terminal, black cable on the black terminal. Um, we do have a fuse block on order, so we're gonna probably get that done. Um, so that we can protect everything. They do not include a fuse. So if you don't have a fuse block, probably not the best idea. We ordered a 250 amp fuse holder for this. So let's go ahead and get this guy set up and we'll turn them on and we can show you the functionality. Okay, very good. So we got the inverter direct wired to our truck battery and the power switch is really straightforward. So if you just press and hold the power switch, it'll power the inverter on and the display will toggle between the amount of load and the amount of available volts. So it's kind of like a battery gauge. So right now we're at 12.4 volts and zero load. Um, there's a sticker on the front that actually tells you the pairing code and that is for the app. So a little bit about the wireless app. So this is an app that you would download from either the Google Play Store or the Apple Store. You do need a smartphone. And so the app you would download and once installed, it'll look something like this. And once your app is, is powered on, you will, uh, you'll need to turn the inverter on in order for the app to recognize the inverter. And so once you do that, you'll go to the connect feature and you'll see that the inverter is listed here. You would tap on that. It's gonna ask you for this pairing code, which by default is 8888. And once you're paired up, your app will look something like this. There's an on off switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and power the inverter off by tapping this button and the inverter is now powered off. We can tap the on button and it turns the inverter on. We can also do a few other things such as check on the status. We can monitor the battery voltage. You'll see that this is 12.4 volts, which is identical to the inverter. We can see how much load the inverter is under. Currently there's no load. And we can also monitor the temperature of the inverter. There's actually quite a few advanced features that are in the settings menu. I won't go into detail on those. That's a whole different video, but you can do a lot of different things. For example, you can set the low and over voltage thresholds. There's a sleep timer. So if you wanna set the inverter to turn off automatically for within zero to 24 hours, you can set that and it'll shut off all on its own. 
Um, there's a couple of other settings such as notifications. So for example, if you wanna be notified when the inverter is powered on successfully, you can get a notification on your phone. So there's a bunch of other bells and whistles inside this app. This of course is the iOS app. I don't have the Google Play app, so can't testify to that. Anyway, let's go ahead and try this. So I'm gonna walk away and I'm gonna see how far I can go. I'll have Alyssa film me and we'll turn this off wirelessly from a distance. So I'm turning the inverter off. And when you get a grayed out indicator on the app, that means the inverter is not on. The only options you are to have is to connect or to power on. And let's go ahead and power the inverter on. Very good, so the inverter is now turned on. So you can see that we're quite a distance, maybe as much as 25 or 30 feet away. And we'll have Alyssa shoot a close up of the same thing. Okay, so one more test we wanna show you is with something attached that you can power the inverter on and off remotely. So I've hooked up this little air compressor to the inverter, which is of course turned off right now, but the compressor is turned on. So now I'm gonna walk over there to the other side of the property and I will power on the inverter remotely from my smartphone. Okay, so we're about 60 feet away right now from the pickup where the inverter is hooked to the battery with the air compressor. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the inverter on and you'll hear the compressor start. All right, and let's go ahead and turn the inverter off and you'll hear the compressor shut down. Very good, works great. And quick tour of the front of the inverter. So you have four 115 volt uh, three prong outlets and then you have two USB ports and these are 2.4 amps. So these are sufficient enough to charge some of the higher powered tablets and bigger smartphones. Um, so you can charge iPhones and things off of these too, but they're gonna charge at 2.4 amps. So a quick tour of the front there and then I'll show you one feature on the back. So this inverter does have a cooling fan and that's a big concern for a lot of people who hate like loud inverters. Inverters. In fact, the one that we're, used, we're replacing this inverter with has a fan that's really loud. Uh, according to the manual and according to reviews that I read, this fan's really quiet. And in the app, you'll find that there's actually a low noise mode. And what it does is it just kind of like lowers the threshold of the fan. But there is a warning that goes with that. You need to be careful that you're not loading the inverter heavily when you're doing that because you'll overheat the inverter. So just keep that in mind. But it does sound like this is a pretty quiet inverter. We actually ran this just a little bit and the, the fan never even came on. So we'll we'll do an update on our review later about that, but it does have a fan, it appears to be very quiet. As far as mounting locations go, the only mount is this bottom rail here, and it's got a, a four basic screw locations. Um, it does look like it's the uh, type of shape that you could mount with straps or Velcro straps, something like that. It's not particularly heavy, so you could probably wall mount this no problem at all. Um, if you wanted to use the screws, you could go that direction too, and that's the only mounting option that they provide. All right, very good. So that wraps up this unboxing. I would recommend this inverter just on initial impressions for somebody who is doing boondocking, RVing, needs portable tool power, something like that. This uh, remote access feature is really cool because that means you can remote mount this uh, inverter and not have to worry about trying to get to it to turn it on and off. In our case, this is gonna sound kind of corny, but we have our internet running off of our inverter. And sometimes we like to go to bed and not have to get up and turn our inverter off because we're off grid. And so we turn the internet off via the inverter on our smartphone. Yes, we're that lazy. Please scald us in the comments, please. Um, but that's something that was really important to us. In fact, we're talking about remote mounting an inverter up on top of our hill so that we can run our internet remotely with no cables at all. So that's for another project. Um, so anyway, I'd recommend that for those applications. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot. We are talking a lot about the different tools and things that we use on our off-grid homestead. We'll also be doing timber framing. We're building our own cedar hot tub. We're almost done with our own deck that we milled from our own trees and things like that. So we'll put a subscribe button right here. Please follow us. And then also on our blog, purelivingforlife.com, we'll put a link below. We do a lot of write-ups that we do not make videos for. So if you'd like to learn more about our journey, please follow us over there. And finally, Facebook and Instagram, we do a lot of micro posts over there. So please follow us there. Again, links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.